Neom Mega Project Critical Analysis. Neom is the name given to Crown Prince, His Royal Highness Mohammed bin Salman's vision, and the name was chosen after a process of evaluating the best suitable name out of 2,000 suggested names, and then the best suitable name, Neom, was given to this out of this world project, which is a visionary future of modern living. This name represents newness because the word neo comes from the ancient Greek language and means new, and the M letter in the word comes from His Royal Highness Muhammad bin Salman's name, and future in Arabic is called Mustaq Baal, so it represents both mutually. The force that is not allowing HRH MBS to settle for anything less than Neom is that he truly envisions the future of the Saudi Arabia empire being free of crude oil dependence by 2030 because it is well understood among every country that relies on crude oil that someday that oil, which is a natural existing fossil, will end and for reshaping the economy of the kingdom, then it is a need of time to shift to global reach, tourism, business, Neom is unquestionably necessary, and MBS has recognized this. Have you ever wondered about the art of sorting and assembling messed up things on the floor? If you arrange all things well straight in a line, all those things would cover an impressively less area, and that is the ideology behind the line city by Neom structure. This city was announced by the Crown Prince himself in a presentation on January 10th, 2021, and the world was stunned by the magnitude of the project, which is a sub-project of the much larger Neom project. They are constructing a linear city 170 kilometers long with a width of only 200 meters. Two parallel skyscraper lines will be built with a height of 500 meters, about 1,640.42 feet which is the height of a trade center, and massively extended skyscrapers will be made of rock-solid reflective glass. The incredible fact to realize here is that with this extended horizontal length, it would be equivalent to having two parallel lines built consisting of 2,000 world trade centers, each built one after the other and counting until the end. And because there are two lines parallel, it is actually like 4,000 world trade centers. The idea behind building this project in this manner is to cover large demands of human luxury life in a small area. Everything needed for people's daily lives and lifetime living will be only a 5-minute walk away, so cars will not be needed, and humans will not be bothered by the lack of cars because everything they need will be easily accessible and very close to them. There will be solar power houses for solar energy production and wind energy production to meet the city's and its residents' energy needs. In addition, carbon-free desalination plants would be installed to meet the city's water needs, ensuring that water is never an issue for the human race and leaving the city carbon-free. The mirrored linear city will be large enough to house 9 million people, about half of the population of New York. The city will rely heavily on advanced AI technology and it will be the smartest city ever built for the age of the future. This city will reshape the human way of life, colonization and community formation. Throughout the city, connecting pathways will be built between the parallel mirror lines. All of the vertically built structures inside will contain offices and homes for people to live in and will be built on top of one another, achieving and executing the idea and plan of stacking the entire infrastructure of a conventional normal city on top of one another. There will also be a large stadium, a marina for yachts and much more to keep the people entertained, as well as vertical farming to cover the feeding department. This city will survive by incorporating the most cutting-edge technological features. The city will collect its own taxes, have its own law and order and administration, and will not be subject to any foreign governmental administration. In other words, the city will be self-sufficient in all ways. Crown Prince MBS has called this spectacular project a revolution in civilization, and it will indeed revolutionize humanity's way of life and existence. The obstacles that the Neom and the people working on this magnum opus of architectural art and gigantic construction dream will face will be enormous, and the initial criticism that they will face will be people not believing it will happen, and certainly not in this short time frame. But the footages that were revealed showed that construction has already begun.
Gavin Van Tonder, Neom's head of water sector, stated that Neom is an opportunity to create a template for what the world needs to be in the future, which is a brilliant statement because while many critics claim that either this project will fail to complete on time or it will be abandoned due to its high financial demand, what Neom is and what they are going to build will be the future way of living. Overall, the Neom is more than a vision. It is also a necessity and a service to Mother Earth. The world requires it and Neom is thriving and on its way to becoming an exemplary model. As estimated and planned, this trillion dollar project will serve the world by 2030.